The idea of fitness dates back thousands of years. The ancient Greeks made it a staple of everyday life, especially as the Olympics came into existence in 776 BC. Modern forms of exercise started gaining popularity in the 19th century. But fitness as we know it today really took off in the 50s. Jack LaLanne, the godfather of fitness, helped popularize fitness regimens, gyms, nutrition plans, and of course, the workout video. His mantra, if you can get up and get moving, you'll stand straighter with a smile on your face. I'm Karina Al Fisher, and I help find unique products for the grommet. How do you get it back into a cube? I'm Eric Wessel, and I make sure you get the product you ordered. I grew up playing a bunch of sports, but it was when I got the ninth grade that I joined a rowing team in Florida. Um, and that's when I started developing a more legit training routine, uh, and that kind of just carried into college. I played basketball, lacrosse, soccer, tennis, track and fields, I did gymnastics, karate, ballet, I swam, track and fields. Uh, does Latin ballroom dancing count? I rode at Northeastern, and that came with a pretty intense routine as well. Morning practices, uh, early alarm clocks, and uh, more often than not, double practices Monday through Friday. I also have an unstoppable sweet tooth as well, so in a perfect world, I would never stop eating ice cream, and my best friends would be Ben and Jerry. And working out is my way of maintaining that. Special shout out to Mama Wessel and her baked goods. I really started to get into things when I played soccer and became a goalie in ice hockey. And with ice hockey, you're gonna confine little space as a goalie, but it takes a lot of speed and agility. And I really fell in love with the training and the conditioning that it takes to get there. I know that's a little atypical, but it served me well. I think we all jump to the physical benefits, which is understandable, but there are a lot of mental and emotional benefits to working out. It's such a great stress release too. It can turn a day completely around. You feel accomplished. Uh, I work out when I wake up and it's just an awesome thing to check off my list at the start of the day. You feel happier, you feel more energized, you feel productive and accomplished. I'm a very high energy person and I think that comes from working out. Most people are pretty busy and, and for me personally it helps me to just kind of zone out and do my own thing for an hour or so. That you need a stretch before a workout. Don't even get me started on stretching. You want to get your body warm for sure. But this isn't going to do anything. Stretching without a warm up is not going to get your body ready for a workout. Great. Let me go pick some stuff up. No, you're asking for an injury or a pulled muscle. Probably a short jog most of the time. Lunges. Jumping jacks. Just getting your heart rate up and blood pumping. You definitely want to just prepare your muscles for the workout. And a good warm up should get a little sweat going. That's when you know you're ready. Okay, now is when you can stretch. A warm up is important, but do not overlook the cool down. You should get yourself a foam roller or maybe some elastic bands. Uh, you wanna take this time to get your muscles loose and kind of cool down. A lot of people just end the workout and go on to the next thing, like taking a shower and going to work. But you have to let your body cool down and go back to homeostasis. Homeostasis is defined as the tendency towards a relatively stable equilibrium between interdependent elements, especially as maintained by physiological processes. It's just your body at neutral. Plus, if you take care of your muscles after a workout, you'll feel less sore in the days after. Rowing definitely turned me into a bit of a morning person, so I've stuck with that, and it's comfortable for me and easy. I would say find something uh, along the same lines, something that works for you and that you can stick to and that you'll know you can commit to. It also really helps to have someone to do it with you, a friend or a family member. They keep you accountable, and it keeps it fun. It also really helps to do something you actually enjoy doing, because if you dread doing something every day, it's gonna be really hard to establish a routine. I've been doing CrossFit for the last six to seven years, so that's definitely my go-to. It's simply just weightlifting, gymnastics, and cardio all into one. More recently, I've gotten really into hot yoga because it really just opens you up and relieves a lot of your stress. I think for me, it's more about seeing how I'm feeling day to day. Um, I like to mix it up, so some days I'll lift weights and get on the rowing machine, or I'll go for a run. Like right now, I'm training for a marathon, which sounds intense, but uh, it's something I've built up to. Um, I never was really a running person, so this has been over months and years of more and more running. Even if it's not a competition or a race, having some goal in front of you will help you keep going. A water bottle. Hydration is important. That's pretty good. A foam roller. 
yoga mat. Resistance bands for stretching uh, and even some good workouts. A deep muscle massage tool. Even a lacrosse ball works. Something that can really get in there and loosen up those muscles. A good pair of shoes is key. Uh, it's very similar to a mattress if you're going to be on them constantly. You also want them to be comfortable. And really want every part of your body to be comfortable. That's a big piece of feeling good during a workout. You can do so much with just your body weight. You can do push-ups, sit-ups, squats, and if you want to really spice up the workout, you can grab some resistance bands, and you can do curls, tricep extensions, duck walks, glute bridges. I promise these are all real exercises. There's a fairly common type of workout called the deck of cards. Um, for example, like what you can do is um, you assign a workout to the type of suit. So spades can be lunges, uh, hearts can be push-ups, so on and so forth. And you basically do the number value that's associated with that card. So this would be 11 push-ups. First of all, totally understandable. The gym can be super intimidating. There's a thousand machines, and those little diagrams on the side probably aren't the most helpful. The internet can actually be a great guide to find good workouts and get you started, or at least set you off on the right path. Don't be afraid to ask people in the gym either, like I'm always willing to give people a spot or some advice or just help when they need it. Start small, but definitely just start, do something. Find a friend, sign up for a class, anything to take that first step. One more thing to remember is there's always gonna be someone who is stronger or faster or fitter or you think they are, um, but don't worry about them so much. Worrying about how you stack up against other people will not get you closer to where you wanna be. Ultimately, your goal should be to make today's you better than yesterday's you. You got this. You got this. <laughs>